My name is Sonny Greenwich Jr. and today I'll mostly be talking about my Fader Port 8 and mixing my newest single on it. So today I'd like to talk to you about my Fader Port 8 and how I use it for mixing my tunes. I have the UC1 by SSL. They have a mixing controller called the UF8, which is about a thousand bucks. I actually think that I prefer the Fader Port 8 because it has the transport on it. I use the transport more than I use the faders. Although apparently you can virtually change all the buttons on the UF8. So you can actually stick in your own presets and whatnot. I don't know. I'm really enjoying the Fader Port 8. And also the other thing is that it's half the price. Maybe even less than half the price. Now the one thing about the UF8 is that it fits absolutely perfectly with the UC1. If I was to build my desk to hold the two pieces, they would fit perfectly together. Now I think I'm going to do this building out of the desk anyway using the Fader Port 8 and hopefully I can get them at the same angle although they're not the same sizes. I am of course trying to convince myself not to buy the UF8. Fader Port 8 inexpensive for what it is. And if you don't need all 8 faders they have one that's just a single fader as well. The Fader Port 8. Here we go. The most important thing for me is using the Fader Port 8 as a controller, the transport controls right here. This just makes working so much easier. My cycle button is right there. Stop button takes me right to the top. Sometimes things get in the way of the space bar. Obviously it has the flying faders as well. I normally keep the faders to use my VCA controllers at the very end of my mixer which I use to do the mixing of. Apparently, 70% of you are not subscribed to the channel. Go on down below and subscribe. Hit the bell button, smash the stuff, you know what to do. So let's say if I start from here. I can bring all this stuff down. Now the trumpet I have left on its own, it's not going to a VCA, which is right here. But the VCAs that I have are the drums, the bass. The bass doesn't start right at the beginning. And that's the Vox. It's cool. It's cool. The guitar. And basically everything is right here. For mixing, I love using it because it gives me hands-on. The way in the old days that I would have a fader for everything that I wanted to run. Between the Fader Port 8 and the UC1, I've got everything I need. So I've got my EQ controlling here and I've got my mixing faders here. I have a playlist on Spotify that I think you'd really enjoy. It's some of the jazz stuff that I really like. I think you would enjoy listening to it. It'll be down below in the show more section. The Fader Port 8 also has a bunch of different things that it can do. Uh, there are some really good videos that will explain absolutely everything that it does. But basically, you know, if you got your mute and your solos here, your select buttons for every channel that you want up above here. There's an edit plug it thing. I don't really use any of this stuff because really what I use it, as I said, is for a controller. There's the sends and your pans up there as well. So you can, by hitting the pan button, you can use the fader as a pan. I normally have it up in tracks. This button here can be used to select your bank. So you can just move along here. You can see that it's following in the DAW down at the very bottom. It shows you which channels you've got selected. So let's say if I was in the middle of a mix now. The 
solo, you can hear what it does. Or you can mute it. It's a very handy thing, and it works just like a mixer does. Like As I said, it's got so many other things that it can do. And also by hitting the scroll button here, I can move the playhead to wherever I want to start. And then just hit start. <laughs> You can control your automation from up here as well. So you can read, write, touch, or latch. And mine is not working properly. Normally up here in the VUs, you can see the actual channel data as well coming up. But I don't really use that because I'm looking at my screen anyway. So that just with my right hand here, I know that I can just hit play and stop. And I can hit my cycle button back and forth really simply. The Fader Part 8 by Personas. It's a fantastic little machine. And that's basically what I use it for. My new song, Peace is Calling, has been out for a week now. It's doing pretty well, but I'd like you guys to go have a listen to it if you can on Spotify or on Apple Music, actually on any platform. Dan Rosenboom from LA is on that, and he plays an absolute blinder on the trumpet on that song. And of course, John Lolly, who's smashing out the drums, the old drummer from Bootsauce. So thanks very much, and I'll see you next week.